Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So every week I put out a video message. Sometimes it's related to the stock market, the bond market. Sometimes it's related to the economy. And today I want to talk about the cost of living increase. Um, this has been a subject, you know, ever since there's been a lot of talk about Bidenomics and what that really means. The cost of living increase is far greater than what people think it is. And recently Moody's came out with a report that said that every person spends $709 more a month this year than they did last year. So let's put that in perspective. That's $8,508 more this year than last year. And if you look at that in terms of a $50,000 a year person, that's 17% more of a strain on a $50,000 income person. And that's eight and a half percent more on a hundred thousand dollar a year income person and those are just you know numbers that moody's analytics came up with i actually have my own index called the chapwood index which shows the numbers are are even greater than that um, so it's something that you know we have to really focus in on and what the real cost of living increase is and everyone has their own cost of living increase that's why i created the chapwood index because i wanted to get more specific as to exactly what um, your true cost of living increase is. And people on the West Coast have a much higher cost of living increase. Again, it's not the cost of living, it's the increase that matters. And then that brings me to social security increase uh, for next year. 3% is what the government is going to increase social security by next year. Unbelievable, they're kind of ignoring the rising cost of everything. Uh, energy prices and food are soaring, and this bleeds into all products and services across the board. And that 3% number is very, very low. So if you think, you know, are your costs going up only by 3%? And I will say that they're absolutely not. The government plays games every single year, regardless if it's a Democrat or a Republican. They want the cost of living increase to be as low as possible so they don't have to pay out as much in entitlement program increases. So it's, uh, you know, it's really something that is criminal. And you know, anybody out there who's living off of Social Security, and if you, know, you have grandparents or parents that live off of it, you're going to start seeing those gifts around Christmas time get a lot worse. And those birthday presents uh, checks are going to be a lot smaller uh, because they just can't keep up with the rising cost of living. So just wanted to share these thoughts with you. Uh, any ideas that you have of things you want me to discuss on my weekly video blog, please uh, shoot me a message and uh, I will cover it. Thanks.